Good morning, music collectors. Progat here, aka Edward. Edward, aka Progat. How's everyone doing today or this week? This week's going by pretty fast for me. Today is Thursday. Let's see here, Thursday. November 19th and Thanksgiving Day is around the corner so um, the purpose of this video is here just to come and do some Thursday morning chat show some records talk about what's going on in the life of Prague hat a little bit nothing much but before I begin I do want to say welcome thank you for all the supporters to my channel Thank you for being here and stopping by. Uh, this is, uh, and I hope I don't get blocked for this, but I'll mention this band uh, some way so, you know, someone doesn't think I'm trying to lift their music. But uh, this record that I'm playing here is a Canadian prog band. Made two albums that I know of. I uh, happened to get one a while back, long, about a year ago. Uh, this is uh, Slouch or Slooch. I'm not sure. It's a Canadian prog rock band. They're on this label. Or they, this label reissued it. Return to Analog. And I have number 79 out of 500. So... That's a good number. Here are the members of the band, and like I said, that's very proggy. But uh, this uh, album, this band, excuse me, made two records. I really love this record. Um, the other one, I'm not sure. I think the other one I have on CD, but I don't remember now. But uh, yeah. You could probably get these uh, um, not too badly priced used on Discogs or eBay, but I'm staying away from Discogs. I've been having some bad, some bad records come. Pe folks not being really accurate about description. I don't know. Kind of. I might be done with Discogs, but I'm not done with uploading my collection to it. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Good, good, good band. You can check them out for free on YouTube. That's what I did for a while there. I kept listening to them on YouTube, both their albums. So in the life of Prog Hat this week, nothing much has been going on uh, other than just life. Working. Um, I got a nice package of records over the weekend from Lisa Tedesco. I hope I said that her last, last name correctly. And I listened to the Van Halen record she sent me each one three times. Yeah, just so good, Van Halen. And um, I'm making my way this week to listening to the three jazz records. And so, again, the purpose of my video is just talking about what's going on this week. I've been spin cleaning records, listening to records, organizing the little mini empire here. And um, found in the collection records I still hadn't opened. Don't know when I got them, but I got them. That's how it goes sometimes. Yesterday I listened to this album and I have it. I had it on CD. I think I have to go look Beautiful folks Beautiful this record plays nice very nice very quiet pressing um, I Know we're nothing new here, but from Miles Davis uh, Catalog but sketches to Spain is high on my list and uh, this is a record that Lisa sent me, and I, I enjoyed it. I played it once yesterday, and going to play it again today, probably two more times. And 
Really enjoyed that record. Um, oh, before I go too far, I do got one little CD here. My wife got me the new ACDC. I'm a fan, both uh, Bon Scott and Brian Johnson. I'm on both sides of the fence. No problems there with me. I like pretty much all their records. But I, I haven't got a chance to play this, so I'll play this. I plan to do a little review on this. Not a very long review. Not one of those where, like, it should have been Angus Young and he should have tuned his guitar in. Or nothing like that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, we're starting to tell uh, uh, great guitarists like Angus Young, you know, hey, uh, play this way. Okay. After how many platinum albums does ACDC have? Come on, really? Sorry about being that way, but the guy's a genius, okay? It's been working. The formula. He's cranking them. I mean, look, we got Power Up. I like the name, too. Good morning, everybody. I don't want to make this uh, video too long. Um, what else have I been doing this week? Organizing, uh, my daughter's helping me load up my singles, 45 collection to Discogs. She's been a real sweetheart about that. Um, she is, uh, pointed out things that she's found on some of the, um, on the wax of the 45s. I have a Monarch one she was showing me the other day of uh, one of my singles, and I can't remember which one it was. I don't have it near me, I don't think. Well, yeah, if I don't, but it was a it, it was Jimmy Buffett. That's what it was. Margarita, little 45 on ABC Records. And the other day, I have a promo copy. I'll show them on my next video. Some of my 45s. I have a promo copy of uh, the Jacksons. I forget which song, but it's a blue... 45 LP, the vinyl's blue, and my daughter said that one goes for about 30 bucks or so or something like that. So that one was given to me free from a friend a long, long time ago. And uh, I have played it, but I don't remember it, but maybe on the next uh, video I'll show it. I'll show some of my 45s. Um, what else have I been doing this week? That's pretty much it. Um, getting ready to uh, read some new comic books I got. And some free comic. That's one thing about my channel too. I do talk about comics from time to time. I do enjoy reading them. I do buy them. I had to cut down. Because I feel like they're just. Some of the stories. Are making the heroes second guess themselves. You know like. Why am I Batman? Let me go through Gotham. Hmm. I'm having dreams. Okay, but Goth Batman is the protector of Gotham. I mean, why, why do we veer off into these other... Why do I need Robin? I mean, I'm just saying, you know, once in a lifetime. Okay, I don't know. But some of the stories, is, they're getting, I don't know. It's, it's not worth the money for some of those stories and they really don't go nowhere. And then they uh, stop somewhere and then they go, oh, I want to start a new series. What ha you know, we don't know what happened to the end of the other series. I, I don't know, folks. Kind of been disappointed. Going back to the classic stuff. Um, later, as I, this was being added to Discogs. Um, I found out that uh, this is really a good record. Right here. Iron Butterfly. It is a reissue. I'm not. I don't think it was a record store day thing, but it's uh, on the Purple Pyramid Records, and it's a uh, Arm Butterfly Live at the Galaxy 1967. This is the only record I have of them. I had another record, but when I took it out, guess what? It was something else. And then I discovered I had a Kansas Double Live album again, missing side one and two. Why don't I check these things before I take off? This one is the Iron Butterfly album. It's a good live show. Really good show. These guys were a great, great band. Heavy, psych, hard blues, hard rock. 
I like the vocal delivery. I like the Arn Butterfly theme. And it ends with a tune called You Can't Win. But yeah, maybe this is on a... Um, on YouTube to listen to and folks if you're watching my video you must be 18 and over I'm just putting that in there I don't want anything to happen to my channel my video is being removed so I, I, I'm saying that now so I, I say it in a weird spot of the video oh and um, as I've been uh, cleaning some records I don't know how many I've cleaned so far I think I'm up to 20 something now uh, with my spin clean which was a treat that when I got this big promotion job that I've been working at for about 15 years, I said uh, it was a nice promotion, a nice move up because I was working in the warehouse for I don't know how many years and I just kept plugging away, plugging away, kept applying. And now I'm at a job that I love doing, that I went to school doing it for and everything. So it's it's been great for me. It's been a blessing. And one of my treats was buying a spin clean yellow machine is what I call them. Little, what you got to do is the work, but still. Don't know when I got this back, but I'm sure it was a trade. The John Lennon, give me some truth. I like it. I'm not going to do a review about this. I'm not going to say, I wish they would have did this, 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 this. This is the double LP version. I thought this was good enough. Um, I enjoy it. I know most of this may seem like, well, we already have all that. Yeah, you may already have, but they did something to this nice mix of it that I enjoy, and I can't explain it. I have to think about it. But I like the way it sounds. Um... I like the live version of Come Together. I don't know. I feel like uh, John Lennon's vocal delivery on that live version is like a like a protest sounding vocal. Come Together. The way he's singing it. He's rocking it. It has Stand, uh, stand By Me. Um, I just really enjoy this. It's a double record. It comes with a bunch of stuff. And I'm being too lazy and don't want to pull out all the booklets and the things that... It, it's a pretty thick, heavy cardstock album cover. So, I played that yesterday. I played side three and four a lot. I think I played those four times. Three or four times each. Three or four times of that side. Excuse me. And so, what else? Well, today is kind of cloudy outside. Feels like rain. The other, other mornings were nice and cold. So, whew. So, anyway. Oh, so um, I got I got my one of my first records from Acoustic Sounds, John Coltrane, Ballads, powerful album. Um, haven't opened it yet, but I will open it, clean it. Hopefully, I'll get to spin it today, because uh, I'm a big fan of John Coltrane. And a big fan of Sun Ra, a big fan of Sam Rivers, big fan of Duke Ellington, big fan of Miles Davis, Grant Green, big fan of Arnett Coleman. I like Arnett Coleman. I wish I could have saw him. He came to here, played at the uh, UT Bass Music Concert Hall. But missed that show. This one, uh, one of those, another 80th Blue Note. <clears throat> this one, I love Larry, I forgot, I love Larry Young. I have a cassette of, of his album Unity. And this is my uh, first to have on LP. Like I said, it's that 80th Blue Note. It is called Into Something. Now listen to this lineup on this one. Sam Rivers, Grant Green, and one of my favorite jazz drummers, Elvin the Man Jones. I can't wait to play this. Of course, I'll clean it, give it a spin. I might share a little, I might do a review on that one, on that 80th Blue Note of Larry Young at Album, just to 
talk about the sound, the quality, and all that. You know, I'll do my best. Now, I'm not like some of those other guys that are like, I don't do that. That's great. What else can I say about a record? Others have said it too, or added more. So usually my reviews are real short, simple, to the point, bullets. Anyway, one more record here that I plan to play. And I think this is a, this copy right here that I got a long, long time ago. Um, is it an import? I don't know. I gotta go look it up. John Coltrane. The Giant Steps, or sorry, Giant Steps, like the nice giant step that I took to get to the job that I'm doing now. That was a quite a giant step, and maybe that's what's inspired me to play this record. And maybe, usually when I play something, and it's in my heart to play it, there's something that I'll notice, like maybe I'm approaching um, my anniversary of working uh, for the agency I work for or something or maybe it's there's there's something that connects to it you know it's like uh, when someone knits a crochet or handkerchief you see the knife you, you see when you flip it over you see everything going and it doesn't look it doesn't make any sense you flip it over on the other side and it's complete and you go oh that is a very nice uh, stitching, whatever you call it, yarning, whatever you want to call it. So sometimes uh, life can be that way. You just don't, you see the back of it. And you're like, oh, everything's going here, 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 here. But then in that one moment, you, you flip it over and you see the finished work and you go, that's rewarding. I'm not a philosopher. I'm just saying that sometimes happens to me with music. I'll start going, hey, I haven't lit, played that, and then I'll play it, and then I'll play another record by them. Or, and there seems to be a connection. If that makes sense to anybody, I hope it does. That's just prog hat. But anyway, this is my video. I went over longer than I wanted to, so it's kind of long now. I usually try to stay under 12 minutes. But folks... Thank y'all. Love you guys out there, music collectors. I hope y'all have a wonderful Thursday and the rest of the week. And I appreciate all the support. Until then, take care, everybody.